first, our great Dr. Macbeth here is the next chief of medicine. Second, my great son Malcolm is the next dean of the hospital. Congratulations, Malcolm. Today is a good day. Enjoy, everyone. Enjoy. Cheers. 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 Somebody's hurt like this. 
and to take this spot as mine. Why is the why is the gate open? Why is it? 
Father! Now, God, don't pretend here. No, no. Don't pretend. No. Your ID card was left here while you were in struggle, weren't it? You killed your own father. You did. I told you to stop pretending, Malcolm. Let's not jump to conclusions. Call the police. We have a definite suspect here, and he's the one who did it. tragic death of Dr. Duncan. Someone came into the hospital and disconnected the respiratory system while in sleep. Malcolm Duncan has been questioned by the police and for his own safety been released on his own recognizance. But under circumstances, he decided to resign effectively. The board of directors has chosen Dr. Macbeth as the new dean of the hospital. Question. 
Do these guys come here every day? Uh-huh. Why well, want to help us out? Maybe five times. Hey, is this the organ dealer? How did you find me out? I have my own sources. Anyhow, I have a job for you, and I want you to finish it swiftly and secretly. Tell me, what is it? Dr. Benko and his son, I want, I want them to be dead. And also, do not forget the boy. I'll send a text message with payment instruction. Once the transfer is complete, consider it done. Good. Please. Let's focus on the subject, Dr. 
Ah, Ross, what? No! Go away! Get away from me! Don't touch me! You! No! Get away! Everyone get away while I gotta come to her head and put in the ass and get away from me! We'll talk about this another time. Macduff, Macduff, Macduff. Are you suspecting me? Are you going to interrupt me? Uh, I'm not gonna just stand here and see you get all the works. Hello? Hey, I have another job for you. I apologize for failing class vision. I'll try to... Uh, shut up! Okay, I want you to kill Dr. McDuff's family, and including himself. You got that? Wait, you can't just... I'll give you as much as... We were better yesterday than we are tomorrow.
Oh, why did you call me out? You got resigned from the hospital. It's time for you to come back. Dr. Macbeth is the one to be blamed for all this. Do you have anything in your mind these days? Anything you intend to do? Listen, Dr. Nagantaki, we have to focus. Don't talk to me like that. Why? Are you trying to use me? You think you can use me if I come back to the hospital? Do you want a high position? Doesn't Dr. Macbeth want you to be able to do so? After my father's murder, my existence at the hospital was crap. Damn you. I quit my job, because I don't care. I don't care about my job, I don't care about my father's job, I don't care about the hospital, that's why I resigned. I do not want a higher position, I just want things the way they should be. Yeah, you really sound like a guy. Listen, you know about the CCTV back when you were captured? Yeah, I about it. I've heard some interesting things about from the guard, from the old guard. And he told me that there were CCTVs, there were backups of the CCTV footage. And because there were backups on the CCTV footage. Listen, so someone had changed the CCTV footage, okay? Get it? And then we have that on video. We don't, we don't have the incident on video, but then we have, we have who went in the CCTV room before it. And you, you didn't leave your ID card when you were, when you, when the night, the night Dr. Duncan was murdered. You, it was stolen and we have that on CCTV too. Really, really you have all that? Think about it, why would I talk about this with you? We can take this to the police. Thank you, you're really on my side. Not again. Oh my god, is she crazy again? Last night, she woke up and started like sleepwalking. Even, even at noon, what's wrong with her? She's scary. the doctor seriously. The last time, doctor came. Doctor says she's guilty about something. I don't know. She wants to remove the guilt or something. Doctor says that. She's crazy. We should at least inform this to Dr. Macbeth. He's her husband. I mean, but I don't think he's a proper husband. He should have stayed home and care caring Mrs. Macbeth. True. I'll call Dr. Macbeth. He's crazy. <laughs> Again, okay, okay. I don't remember what happened like two days ago right now. So please don't bring Dr. Duncan. Hello? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Was it the housemaid? Uh, Dr. Yes. Macbeth, you should know about your wife's condition. Yeah, um, I'll show you. She's not having a good time. She keeps showing psychological symptoms on and on. She's not normal. You should come and see her. I'm very worried and I really need to be. Sorry that I cannot go right now. I'm very busy, man. So please, just take her with a health, uh, sleeping medicine, like healthy and medicine. Sir, she's already weak enough. Her body won't manage any more medicine, like sleeping pills. <coughs> oh, hello, Doctor Macbeth. Hello. What did he say? He told me to treat her with sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? Ridiculous. I see the blood. I see 
After a few days of disaster, everything is back to normal. Malcolm Duncan's accusation has been cleared and Oliver Macbeth is nowhere to bring turmoil. The new dean of the hospital is Malcolm Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> 